In this video, we're going to look at solubility and precipitation reactions. We're going to look at what solubility is, as well as look at the difference between a solution and a suspension, how to work out solubility using solubility tables, and the precipitation reaction. So firstly, what is solubility? Solubility is whether a salt, and remember when we say a salt, we mean any ionic compound, can dissolve in a solvent. And usually the solvent is water, uh, but it can be other things. You can have solubility in ethanol, for example. Uh, now, when the salt dissolves into the solvent, we call the salt the solute and the water the solvent. And together, they make the solution. So a solution consists of a solute, which is the salt, and a solvent. And a way to remember this is if we say, and using some sort of bad European accent, we go solvent water. So if you think the two V's in there. So the difference between a solution and a suspension. When the salt is soluble, the ions dissociate and they spread homogeneously, which is just a fancy word for evenly, uh, around the solution, and the solution goes clear. So it might be coloured, but you can still see through it. Uh, and that is a solution. So for example, if you have a salt water solution, uh, when I say salt water, I mean sodium chloride. Uh, so we have sodium chloride, which is the solute in water, which is the solvent. Uh, what will happen is the sodium ions and the chloride ions will dissociate and they will float freely around in that solution. Now, a suspension, on the other hand, is what happens when a sol uh, correction when a salt is not soluble or insoluble. Uh, what happens is it might form a milky, and it basically looks uh, milky. It can be different colours, uh, but a lot of them do look milky. Uh, suspension. So what this is is these are the small particles actually floating around in the water. So because they're floating around in the water and they haven't actually mixed with the water, after a time what's going to happen is the solid will uh, settle out into the bottom. Now, whether something's soluble or not, there's no hard and fast rule for whether something's soluble. Basically what we've done is we've tested salts of as many different things as we can, and we've come up with some general sort of rules in a table like this. And there's different ways to present a solubility table, but basically it's just a way of presenting information that's being gained through a trial and error, just getting a whole heap of different salts and seeing if they dissolve in water. Now how we use our table. So firstly, let's use our table and uh, with a couple of examples. So the first one we have is copper sulfate. So we go into our table over to sulfate being the ion. And all sulfates are soluble except for barium, lead, calcium, and strontium. So copper sulfate is not barium, lead, calcium, or strontium. So therefore it's going to be soluble. Now the next one, silver nitrate. Go over to nitrates. All nitrates are soluble, no exceptions. Okay, that's easy. That one will be soluble. Now calcium carbonate. So we go down to carbonate. Here, all carbonates and phosphates are insoluble except those of sodium, potassium, and ammonium. Okay, and this isn't one of those three exceptions, so therefore it is going to be insoluble. And it's easy as that. Now, this precipitation reaction occurs when two soluble aqueous, and aqueous just means that they're dissolved in water, aqua water, uh, salts are mixed to form an insoluble precipitate, so a solid. So there's two soluble things, they mix, they react, and they form something that is not soluble. And that precipitates out as a solid, and we call that the precipitate. An example of this would be the mixing of lead nitrate and potassium iodide. Both of these are soluble, so if you mix them in water, they're going to both be aqueous, or dissolve in the water. Uh, but when they react, the, we form lead iodide and potassium nitrate. Now, the potassium nitrate is aqueous, uh, is soluble, so it'll be aqueous, uh, but the lead iodide is not. It's insoluble. So it's going to precipitate and form this yellow solid. So here, the lead iodide is the precipitate in this reaction. 
Now these reactions can also be called double substitution reactions because basically what happens is you just swap the two ions over. So you can see that we start with the lead nitrate and potassium iodide and we just swap these over to get the lead iodide and the potassium nitrate. Okay, so they're pretty simple reactions to work out uh, what the two salts are going to be. The hardest part is using the solubility table to work out whether they're going to be soluble or not. In this video, we've looked at solubility, which is the ability of a salt, any ionic compound, to dissolve in a solvent uh, to create a solution. And we've looked at the difference between a solution and a suspension. A solution is where it dissolves. Uh, or is soluble and a suspension is insoluble so it sort of floats around and will settle to the bottom over time. We looked at how to work out solubility from solubility tables which were based on uh, trial and error experiments and we've looked at the precipitation reaction where two soluble salts that are dissolved in water are mixed together to form an insoluble salt and that insoluble salt is then referred to as the precipitate.